Hello YouTube, Z Hill here with another awesome video for you guys. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a little something I've noticed. Um, the other day I went with my parents and my aunt and my uncle to the Detroit Institute of Arts to look at all the arts and everything like that. And I'm and I was looking around and I was thinking to myself that this is all the stuff they've left, that the future of our past generations have left behind for us. My only thing that I was wondering is what is this like our the present generations are going to leave because I don't really see that much of stuff that we, that our generation ha that we should be proud of. I mean, yes, the generation is going to leave the fact that we may not L all I mean the LGBT community may not have their all rights just yet. We might ha not have full equality, but we're at least able to get married in the United States, which we are still we still have to work on getting it around the world. That being said, other than that, I can't really think of what's like artifacts. What are we gonna leave back behind? iPhone computers, iPhones, like really? That's what our generation is gonna leave behind? LOL, Facebook. Nobody wants to leave. Nobody. That should not be in a museum. That's probably never gonna be in a museum. And for the simple fact that. Our, I'm pointing at myself, our generations really haven't done much that would be in a museum years and years and years down the road. It's just baffling to me because I look at all, the, all those amazing artworks. I mean, yes, there are people out there in this generation who are whose artwork are probably going to make it to the museum. But I mean, like the museums that have like artifacts from history they're gonna one day find artifacts from our gen from way down the line artifacts from our generation that are what a laptop computer an iPhone like seriously like they're gonna look at and it's gonna be Facebook I just it just baffles me that that's really what this generation's all about is like the electron electric or technology I should say because there's more out there than just computers and stuff and I mean yeah and I'm saying this stuff and using a computer and the internet to use to get my point across but the simple fact that ah oh, sorry about the bird in the background because she will not shut up even though I told her many times but that's beside the point it just baffles me. I mean, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I got, can, I got sidetracked by the bird. Um, but I mean, our generation now is so focused on technology and on the computers and on the internet that it's really hard for people to date nowadays for the simple fact that everybody goes online and and everybody in public and you can't meet anybody in real life because all they want to do is just want you to meet them on the internet and it's just ridiculous to me that people do that like the whole social interaction is pretty much going out the window unless you're in a job where you can't be on the computer and you can't be like phone or calling somebody. Even phone calls nowadays are going our phone or calling people on the phone is going out the window pretty much. Because if you can text them, you're they're texting you saying, Hey this, hey that rather than on the phone being like, Hello, to actually talk to a human being. It's just so baffling to me. And sorry my computer fell asleep. So, yeah, I will talk to you peeps later. Happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Happy New Year's Day to everybody. 
And I will see you guys next time. Remember to keep smiling. And remember to thumbs up this video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new, because why not? Comment below if you have any questions or sorry, uh, questions or comments about anything. I could use help on ideas on how on what videos or what things to talk about. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.